Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Speedbreaker and today I would like to give you my point of view and my opinion of the 17 minutes gameplay trailer that DICE recently released for Battlefield 4. Now I know there's already been a lot of breakdowns and analysis of this trailer specifically, uh, but I would really like to co focus and concentrate on the stuff that we know, that we know it's going to be in a single player, and as it is in Battlefield 3, many things that were in the single player are going to transfer over to the multiplayer, so I think it's pretty sure that these things are going to be in the game, but just to um, prevent confusion, I'm just going to say that this is stuff that's going to be in the game and not actually specify where. Now, first of all, I want you to notice the lightning on his gun right about now. And right about now, it's gonna look into his buddy's face. And look at this, it looks so much better than Battlefield 3. I'm gonna blend in some Battlefield 3 footage here. And look at the faces, it looks like 10 times better. And people that can't see the difference here. Just, just get out of here, son, really. I mean, that is just, you, you can't be serious. And look at all the, the lightning effects and the par particles. Uh, you can't see the particles here so good, but uh, and now you can see them. Uh, they're all so much better, and I think they've really ramped up the Frostbite 2 engine a lot. So I really think that this is worth being called Battlefield 4. Now here we're gonna see some of the skyline and I really uh, I noticed that this is actually the real skyline of Baku and I thought it was a really nice detail that they actually included all the buildings like the tower to the right and everything that it actually looks like the pictures that we know from this city. Now in this bit where those poor dogs get shot and killed by Irish, uh, I want you to point your interest to the top right corner where you can see the two and this is some sort of challenge uh, accomplish thingy kind of thing like where you can do some sort of uh, challenges and stuff and the one to the left is probably how many friends are online and then the third one how does that look like I don't know does it look like battle recorder could it be in there I've heard rumors that battlefield is gonna become way more competitive with battlefield 4 and that would be so neat now here I froze the frame a little bit and um, to show off this scope and it's an actual real scope that you can look through even though it's not scoped in which I think is a nice detail now here I want you to draw your attention on the iron sights the, the 45 set of iron sights here uh, now just take a look at the front part of it it's actually blurred like it would be in real life like you can't focus on the front part the back part and the thing that you're shooting at that's simply not possible anybody that's ever shot a gun knows that it is not like it is and now compared to battlefield 3 as you can see there it's all sharp and crisp and that is just not how it is in real life and i like that they incorporated this kind of detail into the game now here I want you to draw attention to the vegetation and it seems like DICE has finally included some real life physics for the vegetation so if it ran past or through some grass and uh, bushes they're gonna move because the soldiers are actually um, touching the, uh, the, the, the leaves and everything and I really like uh, this kind of depth and uh, detail that they got, gave um, to the game and this is another big step that they actually included into the Frostbite 3 engine. Now here I want you to take a look at the water and the reflections and it's real life reflections of the world outside and it looks amazing like oh my god I, I was I was stunned by the kind of details that you actually saw in this bit. Now here I want you to take, pay attention to the sun and of course now we're being shot at pretty soon I guess. Here we go and we're not suppressed for now. Um, but I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later. What I actually want to talk about in this frame right about now is um, his new spotting mechanics. As you can see he did his military sign for engage these targets and I really found that nice that they actually implemented some uh, some real life things in there, some uh, better things and I really hope that this uh, feature is gonna make it over to the multiplayer. Now also you can see the sun and uh, a lot of people have noticed that the sun has been toned down and I kind of agree it has been toned down quite a bit but on the other hand you still kind of can't see the sheep here in the for in the background it's kind of it's kind of hard of course there's a lot of smoke and everything but it's still kind of blurred from the sun so uh, my point of view the sun is still a wee bit op so that we have uh, to told our friends to engage uh, the enemies we're gonna get out our shotgun and uh, just a real real quick here uh, a lot of play people were complaining that you kind of have uh, primaries as secondaries and they were uh, thinking that it's gonna be like this in the multiplayer and to all these people out there Play the Battlefield free campaign, that's all I have to say. Now in this bit I actually uh, froze the frame here, um, as you can see ugly shadows in the foreground, uh, but that's not what I want to talk about. Uh, what I want to talk about is now I'm not suppressed 
and I'm suppressed. So um, you can even see the bullet flying over my head to our left. So as you can see, there's still suppression in the game, and I would have been really uh, kind of surprised if they wouldn't have uh, if they would take uh, suppression out of the game, because that is one of the key uh, features of Battlefield. Let's just hope they uh, um, got rid of the bullet deviation. Now here I froze the frame because of the nice and background. Look at this blue sky, and without any blue tint. Oh yeah, they finally removed it. If you haven't noticed so far, there is no more ugly orange or blue tint in the game. Now here sadly you can't see the hands on the instruments uh, moving, but I think they're going to fix that in, a, in an upcoming build. So here they're going to showcase some more of the nice destruction, and this building seems like they can tear it apart. And just, just look at the metal that comes out of the concrete there. It looks amazing. All these details, if there's going to be, if there's going to be able to even take down the lower part of the wall, then that would be, oh my god. And now here I skipped a little bit to show this bit of the gameplay where I'm going to spot again. And the Havoc, no, it's a, actually a transport chopper. The transport chopper is coming in and blows them all off and look at that explosion oh my god and that comes destruction to our left jesus christ this is gonna make it into the full game guys you have my money now here you can see the vegetation moving again on the floor and also to take a little take a closer look to the water and the reflections i really think they made a hell of a job in implementing these kind of details and i am so happy that finally we got to see some uh, some more polish to the game now again here we can see the sun and this bit is kind of, uh, I wasn't too happy because of this picture, uh, you can actually can't see anything. You, you, I mean if there would be somebody standing inside of the window you wouldn't be able to see him and I really hope that it's not going to be all that overpowered in the full game. Also I hope they're not going to be making the same mistake as in Battlefield 3 and make all the multiplayer maps in the morning or in the evening so that the sun is always at a low angle. I don't know why they did that, I was kind of... Kind of weird. And here I froze the frame to show this nice uh, macro destruction here. Look at the glass and all the rubble falling down and everything. It just looks amazing. I was uh, I was really quite impressed uh, because of this. So uh, now again, look at the destruction and the blurring. Now we're actually suppressed and just in a bit we're not going to be suppressed anymore. So uh, I think suppression is still in there. Uh, let's just see how they implemented it with the bullet deviation. Let's just hope it's not going to be all that that bad i really i really don't think so because i really think that battlefield seems to listen to the community a little bit now here of course choppers are always on the other side of the building why would they even get on top of the building but whatever rose with blades in our face don't don't squish me you freaking chopper damn what kind of pilot would that be and don't 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 what damn it oh it was it was so intense this scene and uh, here you can see some enemies, I don't know how they get there, but uh, here you see the AEK-971. So apparently there's going to be M16s, that's the gun he's holding, and AEKs in the game. So everybody that said, oh, they're going to take the best weapons out of the game, shut up now, it's confirmed. They're not going to do that, and as far as I'm concerned, they're going to be in the multiplayer as well. Now here we see some more nice destruction, and of course this is all scripted. But if there's just going to be a little bit of this destruction in the full game, oh yeah! And look at that chopper, how it spins down and gets destroyed. That looks so amazing. Finally, no more unrealistic explosions when choppers crash into the ground. Now here I finally paused uh, this soldier a little bit to talk about him. Uh, and in Battlefield 3 the medic was an Afro-American and this guy is an Afro-American too. And on his back you can see this kind of scissors and stuff, like in Battlefield 3 the medic had. And uh, maybe we just saw the medics with LMGs, maybe they took the assault rifles away. This is just highly speculative so we're not gonna be able to say what's right or wrong. Now in this frame I just froze it for the nice destruction and that just looks amazing how this building collapses. It looks so immersive and um, apparently we can swim underwater. Yay! Now this last freeze frame shows a nice rip boat and some nice waves, some nice water there actually and of course an aircraft carrier in the background. And wow, if there's gonna be some game modes revolving around an aircraft carrier, yes please. Also there's gonna be jet skis and new rip boats. So that was pretty much it for this Battlefield 4 breakdown analysis video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for Battlefield 4. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Letting me know uh, what you're most excited for for Battlefield 4. And then I hope you see you next time. You'll back me up, right? Ciao!